Hi everybody, it's me, Mary Kay. I hope everybody is well. Boy, you should have seen me move. My desk was full of stuff. I was pricing stuff for my um, little shop that I have. All right, let me see here. Okay. My channel. There we go. There I am. All right. Over there. Oh. Volume. Oh. <laughs> Woo hoo! I got it. Yay! So I found these little bead accents that I got a while ago for a buck nine is seven. No, actually, actually I think somebody gave them to me. But, um, they're like, really cool. I mean, you know, you can use them on your journals. How are you doing, Gail? Thank you for the reminder. <laughs> I would have worked right through it, I tell you. Then I would have drove away and, I don't know. My job starts on Monday. Yay! I'm so excited. Let's see here. Yeah, I, I was going to go over to my shop. That's where I would have gone. But So isn't this cute? So like that would look really good. I've decided I got like four journals ready to sell. Is that wild? No. With fancy top of hat like fancy on his stuff. <laughs> so, or maybe I should save that for a more elegant look, you know, elegant journal. Kind of hard. I used to take these beads and make a, um, Almost looks like Indian, you know? But I don't know. Those are those are a thought. But I do need to cover that up. Maybe with some black. Um well it was up here until it fell. A whole bunch of stuff fell. Oh here we go. This is Halloween, but it has some black in there. Some black ginger gingham could go right here. Oh my goodness! What's in the box? Some artsy stuff. There's a, there's a few things that I've been looking for that I can't find in my room. I bet your room's getting nice and clean, though, huh? Your drawing stuff to mix and tangles. Oh, speaking of that, I should show you this. I have this coloring calendar for 2019. I haven't even opened it. You know, it's going to be in that place that's not even in your craft room. It's going to be someplace else. That's what it sounds like. I know. Look. It's like, let's open it and see what it has. It has the dates on it or whatever. So it does. It has the dates on it. Not pretty. 
I have a Zen Tangle um, book that I got from the, from this before Zen Tangle got really, you know, busy or whatever. I bought it, and then all of a sudden it got real busy after I bought it. January tenth. 11th, oops, where's 12th? Oh, 11th and 12th, Friday and Saturday, Sunday and Monday, to Thursday and Friday. Where'd it happen to? <laughs> I skipped one. Monday, Sunday and Monday. Hey, where's some? Um, Sunday and Monday. Tuesday and Wednesday are gone. I don't know where they are. Thursday. Oh. January 17th and 18th. Thursday and Friday. January 17th and 18th. So I got two January and 17th and 18th. Oh, I like this. January 19th and 20th. 20th and 21st. Today's the 23rd, so this is the 23rd and 24th. And this is my date that I'm starting my job. That's pretty. I like that. Looks like there's a little worm in there. Because it has two little eyes right there. <laughs> Can you see it? See the two little eyes right there? <laughs> Anyways, not sure. Well, maybe I should color them in. We'll color them um, green. There. Two little eyes. See him? I know it's not very clear. Let's see if I can get it closer. Now, do you see him? Yeah, it's a little worm right there. Let's give it a little green. But anyways, cute. I should, um, I don't know what I would do with it. I'll probably take it into work, depend, but it depends on how work is, you know? I'll probably take it in there and just have it on my desk or whatever. Yeah, so anyways, I, I still need, I, I don't really like that brick rack on there. Thinking something new, something blue. So it's it's funny because you know how we clean. Oh, is that when I? I don't watch TV, so I guess I'll leave it in here because I watch YouTube in here. <laughs> um. But you know how when you clean, I don't know if you do this, but I do this. You pick up one pile and you clean it all up. And then all of a sudden there's another pile someplace else. That same pile is just someplace else. <laughs> Here's these little um, ducks I was going to put in my thing. And I just need to find the cork for them. So maybe I'll go over here and because that's one thing I want to do. I'll just, that'll be kind of a little crafty idea for me. Hold on one second. I'm going to stand up and walk over here a minute. Oh, and I have all these corks. What's not cleaning? Oh, no, 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 it's not. 
But I was picking it out a few things that I thought didn't um, fit, you know. Oh, look. That one fits really good. So I wonder how I can cut that so it'll work. No, that's not working. <laughs> I know, cleaning is not moving one pile to the next, right? Oh yeah, that's cutting through good. Those Tim Holtz scissors work wonders. There we go. Cut off the edges. And we'll just stick that in there like that. Woo! There we go. Got one cork. Ooh, I don't know if they'll be able to get it out. <laughs> I just pushed it all in. <laughs> well, maybe they'll be those decorative um, corks. Now, this one is too small. It's weird, isn't it? That one worked good. But this one's too small, so let's see here. Let's try a different one. That one's too small. Maybe this one. Nope, these are all too small. It needs a big thick cork. I'll just have to look around, see if I can find one. One has a cork and one don't. Oh well. Maybe they'll just use them as something on their shelf. But I need to clean off that stuff. You know, the, the sticky stuff. So I thought I would use some um, nail polish remover to clean off the sticky stuff from somebody else's tape. Hey, that's working pretty good. Say, so, isn't this a fun art class? see here. There you go. That's the way you get the, the labels off of jars too. If you get a jar. No. Probably not. Well, I'll just have to um, look around. I think I have another cork that might fit. I have a, um, a salt and shaker, shaker, pepper, salt and pepper shakers that I that has a cork in it, and um, I don't know. I think I have a like a large cork somewhere. really hard to to do to get that stuff off come on work it work it work it I can't see what I'm doing kind of coming off Well, all right, I'm done with that art. I'll do that later. I'll put that in my stuff. So I still have some more stuff to do for that shop, too. So, you know, that was fun. Wasn't that fun? Woohoo! 
Now I'm high off of the the fingernail polish. Woo! Stuff is strong. Woo hoo hoo! That stuff is strong. <laughs> All right. So I have a book on Zentangle. I told you I was that's I was telling you that. Boy, see see that nail polish you <laughs> threw me for a loop. <laughs> That's funny. I was, oh, you know what I was doing last night? I was going through Okay, let me see here. I was going through, I have all these color books and I was going through them because they're like vintage ones but I was looking for a duck for my um, for this one, for this one, for the little red hen, because you know there's the duck and the cat and the thing. So I was like looking through here, and I saw some ducks in here, and I was gonna cut them out. I love coloring and there's a lot of really good pictures in here too and every time I look at it, I think of Gail and her rabbits you know look it even shows you how to put your eggs in a um, in a Kleenex box or whatever oh see there's one duck that's actually geese so that's that won't work Let's see. oh here we are there's a duck there so I might just cut that duck out. Cut it out. I always think of that show. I'm just gonna cut it out. Her head's gonna be on it. I just, you know, I don't wanna really cut these. <laughs> I just wanna go and, um, can you see me okay? I mean, is my chat working okay? <laughs> Anyways, I just want to, I, I just want to copy it and then cut it. Maybe that's what I'll do. I'll just mark the page and then copy it and cut it. So there's that duck and then there's another one. So maybe I'll paper clip it. Oh, my nose is itching. Let me paper clip it. two paper clips out. At least I'm, you know, putting my paper clips back so I can find them each time, right? <laughs> so I'll put a paper clip on here. Oops, I just ripped the page. It's kind of, I didn't tea dye, it's just like that. And then there's another one. Oh, look at the horse. Oh. Mine came in a jar. But I have mine in a box. I have several jars. Remember those ones I found? Oh, there's a good duck. Duck, but that I don't know that just doesn't look like the lazy duck look at that isn't that cute the chick oh is that a duck no it's a bird I thought there was another duck picture there's a duck oh here it is this is what I was thinking of Oh, and there's just leaves on the other side. So I'll just tear this one off. I'll use that duck. There we go. And I don't have to worry about that other one.
there's a duck. And the duck went quack, and the duck went quack. Quack, 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 quack. Because I had that one book. It was a storybook, and it had ducks in it. But I didn't want to wreck the storybook. I need a jar for your clips. Hmm. Well, you know, when I use up these clips, I'll have an extra jar. I'll put it in your envelope by mailing out to you. Oh, look! Oh, I know. I remember I tried this one. It didn't fit. So, we'll look. I mean, it has little cut marks on it. I knew there was a cork. I knew I had a cork. So, here's a jar. I mean, I could, I, I could give you, gift you one of these without the paper clips if you want it. Or do you want a fat short jar? Because if you want a fat, you know what? I got so many. I collect jars. Because <laughs> if you want a fat short one, I think I have one. <laughs> I'll show you it later. I think it's upstairs on my upstairs. It's in my upstairs. I might do. Oh, brain. Take it out. I need a drink of water. Oh no, I don't have any water in here. Wait, there's some. The duck has some. <laughs> so, see, look. It's like trying to fit a square peg in a. And I wouldn't know how to cut, you know, I mean, I could probably cut it closer, but difficult. I probably would have to use a knife. Yeah. I mean, I could probably shave it off and make it thinner enough to be able to plug it in. <laughs> Abracadabra! So I'll put that with it and And we'll see. So now. <laughs> I know. I know. So maybe I should look around in some place where I can get two matching ones. Maybe a, a store would have corks. Or plugs. I'll have to look online. Maybe I'll just take them back to the thrift store and let somebody else buy them. <laughs> oh, let's see here. Where am I at? Okay, so I want... I know, I'm in trouble if I don't know where I'm at, right? I just wanted a piece of cardboard. That's what I want. Come on. There. I'll take this side. And I'm gonna move this because it's in my way. Can't see. Alright. So then I want to make this into a paper clip. Hmm. Last night I made goulash for supper. probably give my husband leftovers. Well, yesterday I went to the food bank 
and got um, got some. They actually had candy at the food bank, so I got a big old bag of of um, Snickers and and um, all sorts of things, Snickers and. Milky Way, dark chocolate Milky Way, and Twix. I think those were the flavors. Oh, that's too. I'm just going to glue it on here and then I'll recut it out. This is my glue from work. <laughs> I have a little bottle. Whoa, when it comes out, quick. it. Look at this big thing. I could have got a toad if I signed up for art or well, re-signed up for it. But can't afford it right now so we don't go out to dinner that often to use it. What do you and your husband like to eat? My husband's a, a spaghetti guy, you know, so in a pinch I can make anything that's similar to spaghetti and we're good to go. Yeah. Um, cut this out again. Well, I don't really need the whole bunch, maybe just this part. Already thick, so I don't need the whole thing. So what I was thinking is doing the paper clip this way. Hello, Susan. How's my friend, Susan? Maybe I'll do it this way. Well, let's just cut this part off. Oh my goodness! 
We've been all cleaning. <laughs> Must be all that cleaning drives you nuts. Right? Yeah, us too. I, I, I was trying to clean out all of my um, stuff that goes in my shop. And so I was trying to price it all. And, and um, Gail texted me at quarter to three. Are you coming on at three? And I'm like, shoot, give me until 3.15. Because <laughs> this whole thing was full of stuff. And then I was like... Um, I had stuff all over my floor, which, you know, that's a given, but, you know, it was just crazy. So, anyways. I got half of it priced, and so, and I brought my box in that I put all my stuff in. And, um, so, anyways, now I'm looking for a bigger paper clip. Oh, something fell. Something fell. There we go. I have a lot of um, journals that I get from, like this is something I got from the Goodwill or someplace. Somebody gave it to me. And it's a, it's a travel journal, but it's like, it's so cute, you know? You can write anything in it, but it has the itinerary and then the journaling part. Pretty cool, huh? You can hardly see it. Oh my goodness. All right, go do that. I get a nice stage. Well, you know, when you're cleaning, it, it gets more messy before it gets clean, you know? Let's see here. I'm going to cut this down. Because I think I'm going to use this as the paper clip thing. There we go, that'll work. So then, you know the deal, put your paper clip in, put your glue on. Oh, did ya? Good. Well, isn't it daylight savings time is gonna come soon? When does that happen? I think it's time. I'm ready for the time change. Anybody else? Anybody else ready for the time change? April. Oh, my goodness. Well, I had to mute my... my thing when I came on. Yeah, I can tell the days are getting longer too. Well, you guys go look it up. <laughs> I'll just sit here holding the, the glue on this. Oh no. Come on, stay. Blowing and setting, blowing and setting. Da 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 da. Um, second Sunday in March. Do do do. That'll come up quick. Yep. 
well, not a few weeks, a whole month. It's only January. <laughs> oh my goodness. So I start my job on January 28th. Oh, okay. Is February a, um, a leap year? Next Wednesday. <laughs> Next Wednesday. No. Okay. The 28th is on Monday. So next Wednesday is the 1st of February, 28th, 29th, is Tuesday, 31st, nope, it's the 1st is Thursday of February. So, oh, you were thinking Tuesday was the 27th. Well, you probably were looking at a January calendar then, huh? Oh, the first is Obi's birthday. Oh, happy puppy birthday. Ha puppy birthday. <laughs> this one is not sticking for some reason. That is really weird. All right, I need a napkin. Oh. Looking for an old, ugly napkin. Well, all I got is pretty ones. Look, I got this one. And isn't that one gorgeous? So I'll have to rip it, rip the um, lining out of it and use that. Because this, this glue wall, for some, is, isn't as strong as my other glue wall. So, let's do that. Well, didn't I? Never mind. I have some. I have some baby wipes. Let go. Okay. So does anybody want any napkins in their in their package? So I'm wiping this glue off because it didn't stick right away like my other one does. Close that. Oh, you don't use these? You don't do decoupage and use these? Isn't that pretty? Okay, take care of doggies. What did you find? What did you find? Oh, I'm, I cut out a um, duck out of a coloring book because I needed one for the little red hen. And I'm just gluing a paper clip on it now. Just, you know, doing the hidden paper clip. But it's taking a little bit, taking its time to glue. 
Maybe I should have used cardstock rather than chipboard, but but I think it's taking us time to glue because for some reason this glue didn't have as good a hold as the other my bigger bigger glue wall. So this one has more stick there. Well, there. <laughs> oh. oh, you found the remote? Oh, good. He does look smug, doesn't he? Actually, he doesn't look anything. He looks like he's relaxing, like a duck relaxes. Whoops, sorry. I get the tape, but I can't find it. I had some scotch tape, and I was using it, and and then um, I don't know. And then I did something, and then I put it somewhere, and I. It's like, where did it go? I need that tape. Probably in the bag somewhere. Oh, here. This is still here, so I'll just tape it again. Here. There we go. So, I'm going to go into this. And... See, because here he's just relaxing. He's not really smug. And he's just walking off there. There he's relaxing, so he's getting ready to go. Looks like he's getting ready to go over to the pond. So maybe I'll put him on this page. What, what? <laughs> yep, I can't help. I have to go swimming. So this seems like the page for him. But the problem is, is I put the paper clip so it's this way. And so in order to do it, I have to put it on this page, but I don't think I can. So I might have to go up. Hmm, I should have thought of that better. So it might have to go on the next page, like with this one here. And he's going to stick off the page a little bit. Hey, that's kind of cool. I like that. What's F2F? <laughs> Welcome to back. Welcome back. F2F. <laughs> well, at least you didn't say what the F. <laughs> Susan, you're so cute. <laughs> it's Throwback Thursday, right? Maybe that's the reason. Poor Susan. So I got that one, and then I was looking. Let's see here. I have some other coloring books. This one is the Velveteen Rabbit. So let me see if it has any. I know I shouldn't. Oh, too bad. Yeah, too bad I don't have the fuzzy ducky. 
But maybe a duck will come across the rabbit or something. No ducks. There's a horse. Oh, look at that. I didn't even notice they had that in there. That's kind of cool. And there's stickers. That's kind of cool. Let's see what this one. This one is Cinderella. So I have the Velveteen Rabbit, my little golden book, too. And I have the Cinderella one. So when I do the Cinderella one, I'll be able to use this. Let me see here. Oh, it doesn't have that same stickers that the other one did. Probably because this one's a used one. It has the horse and the dog. You never read the Velveteen Rabbit? Oh, man. So, let's read the Velveteen Rabbit. Gotta read the Velveteen Rabbit. There's a show on TV about the Velveteen Rabbit. At first, the Velveteen Rabbit was one of the boy's favorite gifts at that Christmas. Then the rabbit was forgotten. The rabbit was plumped and soft. Its floppy, floppy ears were lined in pink sateen. The more expensive toys were not very nice to Velveteen Rabbit. They had fancy parts and thought of themselves as real. The fancy toys looked down on the rabbit because he was made of fabric and stuffed with sawdust. Only the skin horse was nice to Rabbit. The skin horse was the oldest and wisest of all the boys' toys. The Rabbit wondered a lot about this idea of being real. One day he asked Skin Horse, what is real? Real is the thing that happened to you, said the skin horse. You become real when a child loves you for a long time. It usually happens when your fur and whiskers have been loved off and you start looking shabby, said the skin horse. But how you look doesn't matter when you are real, because real lasts forever, he added. The rabbit hoped this magic would happen to him soon. Are you intrigued yet, Susan? From then on, the rabbit wanted more than anything to be real. He wanted to be loved by the boy. One night at bedtime, the boy couldn't find China Dog that he always slept with him. Nana quickly went to the toy cupboard and snatched the first toy she saw. Here, she said, take your old bunny, and she tucked him in with the boy. From that night on, the rabbit cuddled with the boy the rabbit cuddled with the boy as he drifted off to sleep. Then spring came and the boy took the rabbit along when he played in the garden. But the more time they spent together, the shabbier rabbit became. One time, the boy left the rabbit on the lawn and Nana had to go out at bedtime and get him, for now the boy could not sleep without him. Oh, you guys can't see the bunny. Can you see the bunny? <laughs> All that fuss just for a toy, Nana said to the boy. He isn't a toy. He's real, cried the boy. When the rabbit heard this, he grew very excited. What the skin horse had said had finally come true. He, he was real. All through the summer, the rabbit and the boy had a wonderful time together. Sometimes when the boy went off to play, the rabbit sat in a comfy nest and waited for him. One day, the rabbit was lying alone in the nest when two strange beings came out of the woods. They were wild rabbits. They spotted the rabbit and moved a little closer to him. Why don't you hop over and play with us, asked the big rabbit. I don't want to play with you, the, said the rabbit. He didn't want them to see he had no hind legs and was not like them. The small rabbit moved closer to study rabbit. Aha, you have no hind legs, said the small rabbit. I do too, cried the rabbit. 
I've been hopping around all day, said the rabbit. I, I feel, oh, that's, that's the little one. I've been hopping around all day, said the rabbit. I am quite fine resting right here. You don't smell right, the, said the small rabbit. You aren't real at all, said the rabbit, said very hurt. The rabbit was, um, you aren't real at all. The rabbit was very hurt. I am real, he said. The boy said so. Are you in wondering what's next? Because I can't turn the page. <laughs> Just then the boy ran by. And this scared the two rabbits and they hopped into the woods. The rabbits did not come back and it was starting to get dark. Just before sun disappeared for, for the day, the boy came and take the um, boy came in to take the rabbit home. In the many weeks after that, rabbit grew very worn and shabby. He didn't look like a rabbit anymore. Though he felt sad about looking so shabby, rabbit knew the boy loved him. Beside, besides, he was real, and shabbiness didn't matter when you're real. Just as the rabbit was starting to feel better, the boy became sick. Many strange people went in and out of the boy's room. Each time someone came in, the rabbit lay very still and under the sheets. He didn't want to, anyone to see him or take him away. The boy needed him. Then one day the doctor visited and he said that the boy's room would need to be cleaned out and get rid of all the sick germs. Nana scooped the rabbit out of the bed. She put the him in a bag with the rest of the boys' toys, and Nana took the bag out to the garbage pile next to the garden. The rabbit felt very sad. He didn't know what was going to happen to him. Would he ever see the boy again? As the rabbit thought, a tear, a real tear, trickled down his nose and fell to the ground with a splash. Then something very strange happened. A flower sprouted where the tear had fallen. The Flower petals parted and out stepped a lovely fairy. She kissed the rabbit on the nose. I am a nursery, nursery magic fairy, she said. I take care of all the toys children love. And when those toys are old and worn out, I make them real. I thought I was real before, said the rabbit. You were real to the boy, the fairy said, because he loved you. Now you shall be real to everyone. Then the fairy cradled the little rabbit in her arms and flew him into the woods. The fairy and the rabbit came down upon a group of wild dancing rabbits. They stopped and stared at the fairy. Meet your new playmate. He is going to live here forever, the fairy told the rabbits. Be kind to him and he will he'll teach you about rabbit land. Rabbit stood very still. At first, he did not know that the fairy's kiss had changed him into a real rabbit. And somebody tore the page out. <laughs> and then a coyote ate him. What are you talking about, Gail? <laughs> Why, because somebody tore the page out? No, a coyote didn't eat him. <laughs> And he was happy because he was real forever. <laughs> Kel, you are so funny. Susan, did you fall asleep? <laughs> I have that effect on people when I read. <laughs> A coyote ate him. <laughs> A coyote didn't eat him. Should I go find the other one? The other book I have that has the end? <laughs> Should I go find the Velveteen Rabbit? I'll find, it, I'll find it for next time and we'll read the end page. And it won't say the coyote ate him. That was funny that the page wasn't there, Kill. <laughs> oh, that's funny. No, he was able to go run down the hill and and into the um, burrow. <laughs> the coyote ate him. 
Oh, I do need to go get some water. So let me see if I can find that book real quick. Play the um, in-between music there, Gail. <laughs> la -dee -da -da, da -da, la -dee -da -da, da -da. I didn't find it. You'll have to look online. I think he just said he was very happy that he was His mama got, did his mama get shot? Yeah. His mama got shot. Oh my goodness. Godzilla. That's hilarious. You guys are crazy. Crazy. So I had that one that have the bread. Ooh, you know it'd be kind of cool since she's baking. It'd be kind of cool to put a recipe card in with how to make easy bread. Cause I just watched that on YouTube last night. Or how to make um, Amish bread. Maybe that's what I'll do is I'll find my recipe for Amish bread and and put it in here. Wouldn't that be cool? No, the mom got shot. Didn't you hear the pew? There was a shot and then his mom didn't come back. That was to teach you that um, everybody dies. Oh, my buffering. I'm not buffering. The first movie I ever saw, I don't have buffering. Huh. Oh, yes, I do because it's turning pages and I'm not. 
All right, hold on a second. Weird. Can you see me now? Can you see me now? Am I there now? <laughs> All right, hold on. I know. I'm going to go out of my thing and I'm going to hit. I'm going to refresh mine. Do, 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 Can you see me now? It still shows I'm live. Yeah, I'm live now. Oh, now I'm buffering. Oh, there we go. I don't know. It seems like I'm behind. Can you guys hear me? I have, my hand is laying on the thing, so I'm like, it's like I'm 10 seconds behind. <laughs> oh, it's buffering. I see the buffer. I don't know. So, anyways, what I was saying is, um, can you hear me okay? You know what? Let me let me try this again. Go down the hill, go down the hill. Here I am. It says live. There I am. There you are. It's in and out. Huh. Weird. Well, do you want to now I've made them angry. Boo hoo hoo YouTube. <laughs> All right, move me forward. For me, for me, it's pausing. And I don't understand that. You can see me and hear me now. Okay, I got my water. Anyways, weird. Okay, good. All right. So I was thinking about this, um, and um, I was thinking it would be cool if I put like a bread recipe on here, you know, like maybe Amish bread or something, and then just tucking it in the back or something. Or I could do a, a like a tip in, you know, where you fold it, fold it like this in half. I do. I don't even put lotion on them. I'm really bad. <laughs> Thank you. Are they? I just, you know. I don't know. I don't know why they're pretty. But thank you. I appreciate that. So I'm just going to put this on here. And make it like a tip in. Okay. 
and put a recipe on there. So that, I think that's a tip in, I don't know. I don't know. I just call it a little flip card, whatever. And it could be like Amish bread or whatever bread I decide to put there. Ooh, chicken soup <laughs> with bread. <laughs> How about duck soup or bacon and eggs? <laughs> You just got here. I'm like 10 minutes behind. Let's catch up. Catch up. I need some catch up with that. Oh, come on. There we go. Now I'm caught up. If it didn't pause me. No, I'm good. I think I'm pretty much caught up anyways. So, but look at this. We need to cover that up. Maybe some ribbon. Like this is pretty thick ribbon. You know, you could, what you could, what I could do, is cut the ribbon like this and leave it long, and then it could like be a ribbon for a page marker. <laughs> Pork cat <laughs> biscuit. <laughs> oh, that's funny. With a little Godzilla foot in there. You want to really know what happened to um Bambi's mom? Bigfoot. <laughs> the Sasquatch eater. Okay, well, I'll have to re-monetize this as not for little kids. Right? Because they'll think we're awful. How totally awful we are. And we have somebody um, lurking. Oh, there was somebody lurked. They left. I sang and they left. There was four here and they left. There was four of us and somebody left when I sang. Was it Pearl? We'll have to change this not for little kids because we don't want little kids to hear us talk about chicken soup when we're looking at it um Henny Penny. Is that Henny Penny? No, little red hen. I know they are they are exposed to it. My son came home and started doing weird stuff and I was like, "Where did you learn that from?" And he said, "I watched uh, no, he woke up scared one night. And I go, "What are you scared of?" And he goes, he goes, "There's a monster in my room." And I says, "What do you mean a monster?" And he goes, "I watched a scary movie at the babysitters." I'm like, "What?" At the babysitters? Doesn't she know about R-rated? She left her kids alone, her teenage kids alone, to watch the, the kids. And they were showing them stuff that wasn't age appropriate. It's like, really? So, 
I need some lace. Because I like this is. I need to cover up this. Oh, let's see. What do I have in lace? We have this big thick lace we could cover it up with, but it's not colored lace. Hmm. But I suppose it has the holes in it. We could stick a, a blue ribbon through it. What do you think? Now there's four people here again. Who's here? Who's lurking? Oh, with their eyes open already, huh? Eyes wide open, huh? Oh. What? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I wonder if there... I have this book. I wonder if there's a duck in here. There's a fish. There's a cat. Look, there's Mother Hen and her chicks. Good morning, Mrs. Hen. How many chickens have you got, madame? I've got ten. Four of them are yellow and four of them are brown. And two of them are speckled red. The prettiest in town. Clock, 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 clock. Let's see here. I asked my mother for 50 cents to see the elephant jump the fence. He jumped so high he reached the sky and never came back until the 4th of July. <laughs> it's called the story hour. I'm looking for a duck. The queen of hearts, she made some tarts all on a summer's day. The knave of hearts, she stole the tarts and took them clean away. The king of hearts called for the tarts and beat the knave full sore. The knave of hearts brought back the tarts and vowed he'd steal no more. Rain, rain on the green grass and rain on the tree and rain on the housetop, but not on me, not upon me. Rain, rain, go away. Come again another day. Little Johnny wants to play. Here we go. Bread and milk for breakfast and wool, woolen frocks to wear. A crumb for the robin red breast on a cold day, on the cold days of the year. Hmm. I don't see any ducks yet. the boat oh there's lions and tigers and bears oh my and a squirrel oh this is a cool one I like that one umbrella brigade what did that rain one say the rain is raining all around it falls in the fields and the trees it rains on the umbrella here and on the ships at sea the cat. Pilgrims. All right, we'll see you later. Sorry I didn't do much art. I only made the one thing. Look at all the kitties. Wait, what's that? Have a wonderful day, Gail. I hope you get all your stuff done. That you need to get. And I hope you find your box. Oh, I thought there was a. That would be a good story. That's a cool story there. Here we go. Angus and the ducks. Oh, 
Oh, I bet. I bet. This one is called Angus and the Ducks. Once there was a very young little dog whose name was Angus because his mother and his father came from Scotland. Although the rest of the Angus the rest of Angus was quite small, his head was very large and so were his feet. Although the rest of Angus was quite oh I already read that. Angus was curious about many places and many things. Kiss the puppies for us. Um, he was curious about what lived under the sofa in the dark hunter corners. Who was the little dog in the mirror, the tall mirror? Who's that little dog there? And he was curious about things which come apart and those things which don't come apart and such, such as slippers and gentlemen suspenders and things like that. Angus was curious about things indoors. And Angus was also curious about things outdoors, but he could not find out much about them because of the leash of a leash. The leash was fastened to one of the end of his collar around his neck and at the other end to somebody else. But Angus was most curious of all about the noise which came from the other side of the large green hedge at the end of the garden. The noise usually sounded like quack, quack, quackity, quack, quack, quack. <laughs> so here's the ducks. I wonder if I should cut those ducks out. They look more like geese though than ducks. One day, the door between the doors and in, the outdoors and the indoors was left open by mistake, and out went Angus without a leash or somebody else. And down the little path he ran until he came to the large green hedge at the end of the garden. Oh, is it still buffering? I don't know why it's buffering. Maybe if I plug it in. I got the phone plugged in. The phone seems to be working fine. Maybe it, is it snowing where you're at, Susan? I don't know why it's buffering. I'm sorry. Well, maybe you can watch it after I shut down and you'll be able to see. Let me just finish the end of this and then you can watch it. Um, things, but I might cut these ducks out. I don't know. They don't really look good, like good ducks that I want. Can you still hear me okay? He tried. So down the little path he ran until he came to a large green hedge. And at the end of the hedge, he tried to go around it, but it was much too long. He tried to go over it, but it was much too high. So Angus went under the large green hedge and came out the other side. And directly in front of him were two white ducks. And they were marching forward one foot up and one foot down. Quack, quack. And Angus went woof. And away went the two ducks all of a flutter. Quackity, quack, quackity, quackity, quack. Angus falls after them, and soon the duck stopped by the, a stone water watering and trough under a mulberry tree. Angus stopped too. Each duck dipped a yellow bill in the clear, cool water, and Angus watched. Each duck took a long drink and of cool water, and still Angus watched. Each duck took a long drink of cool, clear water, and Angus said, Woof! I don't know. I know. Wouldn't that be fun? I sometimes I read a book and I tell my um I tell my granddaughter about it. I put it on Instagram and I tell her about it, you know, so I'll read a book to her and and then um her mom shows it to her. Oh, uh, that could be. Or it could be I haven't paid my bill. I don't know. But mine's not buffering, so I don't know weird. Away the duck scuttled and Angus lapped the clear cool water. Birds sang in the mulberry tree. The sun made a pattern through the leaves over the grass and the ducks talked together. Quack, quack, quack. Hiss, hiss. The first duck nipped at Angus's tail. Hiss. The second duck flapped her wings and Angus scrambled over the large green hedge and 
scurried up the little path and scampered into the house and crawled under the sofa for exactly three minutes by the clock. Angus was not curious about anything at all. <laughs> that was cute. And there's the billy goat's gruff. There's a duck. No, it's not a duck. It's a duck bill platypus. I don't think that would work. There's a coyote that ate the rabbit. I'm just kidding. Oh, let's see here. I like this. Mr. Apple names his children. That's a pretty funny story. And the pancake. Oh, here's a duck. Or maybe that's a goose. No, that looks like a goose. It is ducky. Ducky lucky. Oh, and the pancake. Ducky lucky. Oh, there's a pig, too. Oh, I'm going to cut the pig out. Huh. That could be. Hi there, Pearl. We've just been reading stories is all. <laughs> I read The Velveteen Rabbit, and then I read um, about the duck, and then we've been having buffering. But I was looking for pictures that have ducks. So here's another duck. A cow, and there's a duck down there. Mr. Groundhog Day and Mary Jo Share. I don't know. These ducks don't look like ducks. They look like geese. I need to find a mallard duck. So that won't, those won't work. I don't like those. Oh my goodness. I wish I had some like bird books or something. Oh, I was thinking I was looking at a bird book here recently. Let me see. Oops, another thing fall. So let's see here. We have wildflower. Sunset. I wonder if sunset might have any ducks in it. I don't think Maui would have any ducks. Oh. I don't know. There's this one. It's a um, Puyallup Sumner. That's, that's my area, so. Yes. Oh, look, I was making it a, a sticking book. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, I put... I was making a junk journal, I guess. There's a pocket there. Another pocket here. A puppy. And this was a pocket. And uh, thing I did a page I folded. You remember the runaway pancake? Oh, look, there's a duck. I could cut that duck out. Doesn't look smug though, but. Look, and there's Bigfoot. Are you guys still buffering?
<laughs> yeah. I could. Rubber. They have this really huge duck. He was in, he was in like our bay. It was like a big, huge duck like that. And they had some sort of a, a thing. So I can put that duck in there. Let's see here, what else we got? Sleepy I am. So let's see here. Education. Airplanes. John Deere. Mingle Jingle. That looks like fun. Chamber of Commerce. Things to do in Sumner. Link Trail. Scarecrow. South Hill Mall. Veggies in a Jar. Ooh, aren't those pretty? Thank you. All right, that's it for that one. Put this in here. I'm just gonna look in here. Ooh, there's a fun picture. Boo bars. My friend <laughs> she was talking to me on the phone and, and I was talking about how at one point I wanted to be a beekeeper and then I wanted to be an artist so I was like artist beekeeper artist beekeeper artist beekeeper <laughs> no artist so the, the lower thing is is the one I want right the artist is the one I want most beekeeper second and um and she says, she said something about, isn't there a cross between the two? And I thought she said prostitute. <laughs> and I said, what? <laughs> Buffering, just waiting it out. Oh, I wonder if I, if I just... Let me see. Can you see me now? All right, let me try something else. I'm going to try. Let's see here. Is this better? Can you see it now better? If I go, if I do that. I can't see your, your chat right now so let me see try something else here oh i just don't know why it would buffer you know why is it doing that to me all right so let's see i'm gonna clear this out I go here. I got Mr. Marks there. I go here. And out of there. Can you see me now?
There I am. You see me now? Well, maybe it's just because I'm on. Let me do this. Let me go out of my. I'm going to go all the way out of my. My. Um, my iPad and see if that makes a difference. So, because when I go on to see you guys, it, um, I'm like minutes behind, you know? So let's go all the way out and then come back. Do, 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 Wi Fi. Because I can't see your chat right now. I'm still here. So let's see here. And we'll go into that live. Da, da, da. So you're, I'm still not caught up with myself. You got to run for now? All right. You take care. I'm still like 10 minutes behind myself. I mean, when I go on to YouTube, it's like 10 minutes behind what I'm actually doing. It's not me. It's Memorex. I'm looking through a magazine right now. And that on the, on what I'm looking at, it's, it's where I was trying to get caught up you know but I'm behind it's weird bah, bah, bah. oh well you can see me turning pages right now right because when I look up in my thing I'm actually live and there's just you and me on here Susan it's you and me against the world. Sometimes it feels like you and me against the world. So, if you type, I can I can see it because I'm standing up. Ooh, that's cute. Eat, drink, and be married. Ha <laughs> ha! That's funny. Peppers. I'm still looking for ducks, but I still haven't found any more ducks. It's like, don't people believe in ducks? Oh well. That magazine doesn't have ducks in it. Oh well, I guess we're done looking for ducks. I think I'm just, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put like a ribbon through there. Not that one. I want to find a blue one. Oh. Blue, blue. Who's got the blue? Or maybe this black one. Do that. Just a dark color one would be nice. So there's this black one. And just put it through the holes here like this. And then I'm going to glue it on the edge there. No on the married. You, you're, you're done with being married, huh? So that's weird. It's... Hmm. Oh, well. Maybe it should go this way, huh? Wow. 
so you're uh, you're in the same spot that I am then because uh, you're you're saying something about married and and it's like you're behind me too. So maybe maybe what I need to do is um, just reconvene tomorrow. Gonna see if I can write in here. Should we reconvene tomorrow? And I'll say, so I'll say goodbye. Goodbye, everybody. Because there's too much of a lag time. Okay. Bye. See you later. Bye, everybody.